and insert it in the in the in the bottle opening. So <coughs> uh, that's it for that part. This is a, a flow meter that we're going to regulate the quantity of air that is going to introduce in the in, in each of one of the of the of the glasses. So what, the first we, what we need to do is to power on the equipment. We can set the temperature. The temperature is set it at 163 degrees. That is the standard that we are going to use. And you have to preheat the oven uh, up to, it has to reach the temperature within the 10 minutes. But that is not really uh, too important, but you have to, to wait up the, until all the oven is, is preheated <coughs> and there's no any temperature difference. Uh, so we're going to, to close the door. We're going to preheat the, the oven without the samples in, so every, everything is nice and warm. And we're also going to uh, switch the blower on, that is going to help to stabilize the temperature inside. Okay. This is going to tell us uh, the temperature that we are receiving from the compressor, that we are going to set this around the 50 PSI mark. And then with this knob, this little knob, we are going to regulate the 4,000 millimeters uh, of air uh, per minute. This is just an indicator of we have uh, moisture in, in the air. Uh, so when it detects moisture, it's going to change the, the color. Well, you can see it's, it's uh, rapidly increasing the temperature. So we're going to let this to stabilize. Now we're going to check the compressor that we're going to be using for this test. Right. Any questions about the... So, turning on the equipment is guessing about the moisture indicator. Is, the, is there any... We have to, do we have to change anything depending on the moisture variations? Well, if you see that this uh, changed from the, this purple color up to... Uh, I think it is pink, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if you see this, uh, this salt in, in turning pink color, well, it indicates you have some moisture coming up from your, your air source. Your air source. Yeah. So maybe you have to drain your compressor because it's condensating some, some water in the, in the bottom. Or maybe you need to put some air filter. Uh, as this is a new equipment, I don't think we have that problem right now, but maybe in the future you will need to, to put an, an air cleaner of, so to, to ensure that the air is, is filtered and with no moisture in it. Yeah? We will show you also yeah. how to look after this compressor, because yeah. I think that, that, that there is the potential for us to get some moisture in there. But there's a tap on the bottom to uh, empty tap, and the person who will be the person that's responsible for the maintenance of the, on a routine basis for looking after the, 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 the quality of this equipment? Well, it will, will be responsible. The MC will be responsible for the you know, So it will be you two. Oh, so, so, yeah. so, for example, this compressor, who will be involved with uh, ensuring there isn't water in it? I mean, the regular compressor will be done by two are technicians. So, you know, uh, Mitchell and the team here will assign uh -huh. some lab technicians. Yeah. They will further train on the regular you know, operation and maintenance. Uh -huh. There are technicians who have been routing uh, you know, the application of this equipment. Mm -hmm. So they will be trained. In fact, if there are other you know, regular basis of our son, our young technicians who will never be there, the operation will be able to see that they will be able to see that they will be Okay, well, I think what we'll do is we'll dedicate a day next week to maintenance of equipment. Okay. Uh, and then we'll say that that full day is to do with how we look after the equipment to make sure the quality stays stays yes. good and, and, and ensures that your results are good with results. And what about keeping uh, laboratories tidy and all of this kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, we have our cleaner. Yeah. We have okay. already, already assigned one cleaner. Uh -huh. 